Hitting into a net or cage with the radar behind the net. Carefully aim the radar beam directly toward the ball on the tee for desired launch angle. Adjust the height and tilt accordingly. Place the net or cage at least 15 to 20 feet from the tee. This allows the ball to be in flight for long enough for the radar to find the ball moving in a straight line. Hitting into a cage or a net with the radar behind the hitter, the ball launch angle should travel in the radar beam. Ensure the radar is at the same height as the ball when it will make contact with the bat, adjusting tilt accordingly. Place the net or cage at least 15 to 20 feet from the tee. This allows the ball to be in flight for long enough for the radar to find the ball moving in a straight line. Hit the ball directly in line with the radar beam. Only count speeds where the ball remains in the beam. Throwing into a net with radar behind person throwing. Carefully aim the radar, allowing the ball to travel down the path of the radar beam. Ensure the radar is at the same height as the ball when it is released. The radar is 15 to 20 feet behind the person throwing to allow the spot size of the radar beam to spread out. Throwing into a net with radar behind net. Carefully aim the radar beam directly toward the ball release point. Release the ball at least 15 to 20 feet from the net, or roughly six bat lengths. This allows the ball to be in flight long enough for the radar to find the ball moving in a straight line. Have the radar at least 15 to 20 feet behind the net to allow the spot size of the radar beam to spread out. Pitching from a mound with radar behind pitcher. Carefully aim the radar, allowing the ball to travel down the path of the radar beam. Ensure the radar is at the same height as the ball when it is released by the pitcher. Ensure you are 15 to 20 feet behind the pitcher to allow the spot size of the radar beam to spread out. Pitching from a mound with radar behind catcher. Carefully aim the radar, allowing the ball to travel down the path of the radar beam, adjusting tilt accordingly.